Hello everyone, Renbackor here, continuing my Mad Science Minecraft series. Today we're going to take a look at some uh, advanced industrial craft stuff, but first I want to show off my um, redecorated re basement. I've moved everything around, and it looks a lot more organized. So we've got four macerators together, and each macerator feeds into its own furnace, which are sort of set in the floor. And everything is um, independently powered, um, well, by, powered by my solar system, just with cables running underground. They've all got their own steam engines that'll pump everything out, and that all runs into this pipe, which goes back up to the chests up top. We've got a diamond pipe up here to sort, um, to send the metals their way. Um, and then this is all sorted coming in from where we, uh, from the quarry. So it comes up here and it splits and it sends tin, copper, gold, and iron um, each to their own macerator. And then those pump to their respective furnaces, etc. And then over here we have our extractor for making rubber. We have our recycler, which I still have hooked up to its auto crafting table. And then we have the compressor here. And both the compressor, the recycler, and the uh, extractor feed into this pipe system too and they will output into the other chest down here. So that's all kept separate, and um, it looks a lot more organized now, and obviously I can do things a lot faster with the four macerators and four furnaces instead of having the stupid one overflow pipe and taking forever to smelt like more than one ore at a time. So the other thing I've done is I've set up a larger um, solar panel system, and that's up there. And basically I did what we had set up before, but I did four of them like in kind of a grid. I'll just go up here so you can see it. So we have the one, two, three, we have four, four solar panels. And each one has, their, has its own MFE under it, um, absorbing energy, or, um, or storing energy rather. Now the MFE, um, as I mentioned, is like the tier two energy storage. To combine the flows from all four of these, we need to make the tier 3 energy storage, which is called the MFSU. Now that takes a ton of fucking mats, but I have already farmed them up in preparation for this video. But we're going to make it together so that you guys can see exactly how to make it. So the first component it takes is the MFE itself, which I just went ahead and made. And everything else in here is what we're going to use. So we're going to grab it all down here, and I will make each subcomponent for us one by one so that you can easily duplicate this in your own worlds. Okay, so here is the MFSU, and um, this is the recipe. It takes six of these Lapratron crystals, um, one advanced circuit, one MFE, and one advanced machine block. The first thing we need to make are um, electronic circuits, and you're going to need um, 13 of them. So I'm just going to make them all now. And then we need to make six energy crystals, because you use energy crystals to make Lapratron crystals. So we'll make six of them. And then to make each Lapratron crystal, you do one energy crystal, two electronic circuits, and then one lapis lazuli. And there we go. We have our six uh, Lapratron crystals. Next, we're going to have to make an advanced circuit, which is one electronic circuit, two glowstone, two lapis lazuli, and four redstone. And this is just basically the upgraded version of the electronic circuit. So there's that. Now the final component is this right here, the advanced machine block, which is made of a machine block, a carbon, two carbon plates, and two advanced alloys. Now, we know how to make the machine block, that's just the uh, eight refined iron here. So there's that. The other two recipes are um, all foreign and new. The first thing we're going to need is to make a mixed metal block, which is done like this, three refined iron, three bronze and three tin makes two mixed metal ingots. Now, I think if we run these mixed metal ingots through a compressor, we will get um, one of the two things we need. Yes, okay. This should be it. And I think this is the uh, advanced alloy. And uh, each one will make one, and we need two, so we have two mixed metal ingots, which is perfect. 
Yes, there we go. So here's our um, our two advanced alloys. Here comes the second one, and now we just need to make the uh, carbon plate. So to make our carbon plate, we need to use coal dust, and that makes four coal dust makes raw carbon fibers, and then two raw carbon fibers makes one raw carbon mesh, and then when you put the car the raw carbon mesh into our compressor, you get the carbon plate, which is the last component we need for our machine block. All right, here are the carbon plates. And now we have everything we need to make our MF MFSU. So we take the machine block, the two carbon plates, the two advanced allies gives us the advanced machine block, which we then combine with the MFE, the advanced circuit, and the six Laprotron crystals. I should note that the Laprotron crystals are basically the, the ultimate battery. Um, like the energy crystals, they can store a ton of energy, and you can use it portably to like power stuff. But for our purposes, we are whoops. There we go. For our purposes, we're just using it to make the MFSU, which is the ultimate um, powering device. So I'm gonna go get my wrench and my gold cable, and we're gonna install this. And as before, I've got double insulated gold cable because we don't want um, any excessive signal loss. Now the MFEs, I think, can hold like 600,000. Whoops. Whoa. Not that. The MFEs can hold 600,000 EU and output 128 EU a tick. This thing can hold 1 million EU and outputs 500, 000, or 500 EU a tick. So they're much, much more powerful. Ah, fuck me. Okay, so we switched it so that all of the MFEs are outputting downward, and so is the MFSU. And now we can connect them with the cables the way I wanted to without anything fucking looping around and connecting to shit twice. So we're just going to hook these all up. And look at it. Look how quickly it's filling up and draining these. Now, obviously, the sun is not out, so these are going to empty and they're not going to fill back up and eventually all the power is going to get into the MFSU but this is the end all be all of powering super badass end game level um, industrial craft machines so this will power pretty much anything that is implemented in industrial craft with energy to spare now I'm sure you're asking what the hell can you do with all this power like we've had one little solar flower powering everything I could fucking throw at it. I have 20 machines down there, all running off this one thing. What the fuck are you going to do with all of this fucking 200,000 to 1 million energy? Well, I'll tell you. What we're going to do is we are going to fucking teleport. That's right. We're going to make us a teleporter, and with this, we can bamf around between all of our various teleporter locations, so we're just going to put one here, and we're going to put one at our other house, and we're going to say fuck you to that elaborate-ass rail system we have going on down there, because I don't need that shit anymore. I've got science. So, to make the teleporter, we need two copper cables, one diamond, four glowstone dusts, and one frequency transmitter, which is right here, and that, that's an easy thing to make, and it's just two electronic circuits and a copper cable. Now, we're going to make two teleporters because you obviously need two places, like portal A and portal B, one here and one there, and you need a third frequency transmitter to control it. So we're going to make three of these, and then we're going to bang out two teleporters using two of them as components, and then we will set it all up, and we will do some science. I have all the materials assembled now, so we make our advanced machine block, except we need two of them. Ah, fuck. Okay, well, I forgot, and I only made one of the, uh... I didn't only made enough iron for one, but... Yeah, so... Here come three frequency transmitters. And then I think I need to go grab a diamond. And we can go make our teleporter. So the advanced machine block here glowstone there, the frequency transmitter up top, diamond in the bottom, and the two copper cables. And there we go, we have a teleporter.
All right, I made the uh, second teleporter, and reading online, it looks like you're supposed to like put the teleporter like directly on the um, the MFSU. So we're gonna do that. I think. And then we're going to use our one frequency transmitter on this one. And that links it. And then we need to go put the second one down and link them together with the frequency transmitter. And then we need to use redstone, I think, and like a lever. So like when I flick the lever, it will, assuming everything is set up right, it will teleport me. Oh fuck. And then yeah, that will that will teleport me from one house to the other. I hope I don't need power at both um, places because I haven't set up a network of solar stuff at the second house, but we will see. Going to place the, new, the second teleporter in the second floor of my, uh, my house out by my quarry stations. And there we go. Teleportation link established. Now we're going to go back to the original house. We're going to wire up some redstone or a lever or something, and we're going to, um, we're going to fire away. And hopefully we survive. Okay, we've um, I've added a cobble block with a lever on it. I realize this looks rather crude, but I didn't realize I was going to have to put this right on top of the uh, MFSU when I designed this whole system. So let's check the power on here. We've got um, three million um, M or three million EU. So hopefully this is enough energy to teleport me without um, exploding or dying, so uh, here goes nothing, huh? Okay... Ha! Ah! Whoa! Alright, it worked! Wow! That's amazing! That was so cool! Now I'm gonna go back and we're gonna see if I can see um, roughly how much energy that used. There was like... Oh, fuck me. God damn it. I don't have a minecart over here anymore because I just took it back to the other house. Son of a bitch. But yeah, we're going to go see how much energy that used. Um, we had like 300-ish thousand before. And we'll see if it used like a lot of it or not really once I make a new minecart. And then we'll set up an energy system over here so that we can do two-way teleportation. Alright, so it left um, like 200 or 2.7 million energy in here, so it actually did use a lot of it, and it's also making this, like, weird staticky noise. I'm not really sure why. Um, it was lagging me quite a lot when I got back here, too, and there was, like, some weird particle effect going on above it, but, uh, it looked like shit, so I just, le I flicked the lever off and it went away. I'm wondering if maybe a button would be a better solution here for this, so we're gonna try that. Yeah, this is, like, really laggy. I'm not really sure why. The teleporter's the only, like, new thing. I'm gonna put the button there and we'll see if this will teleport us. Yes, it will. And fucking lag me to shit. But it's okay once I get over here for the most part. Yeah, alright, there we go. Alright, gonna head back home. See if it's doing that weird fire thing again. See if I can figure out what this fucking lag is coming from. Alright, I'm back home. It is a little laggy when I run fraps. I'm gonna try maybe restarting it. Restarting the whole program, because it's not doing that weird fire again, although it is making a strange noise. I wish I knew why it was doing that. I wonder, like, if, it's, if there's anything visible up there. No doesn't appear to be making or doing anything. It's just making fucking some weird-ass staticky sound. Maybe it's supposed to do that. I didn't notice it doing it before. Oh, well. We've got fucking teleporters. This is awesome. And we've got, yeah, 1.7 million left. Now, the main reason it's using so much fucking energy is that it's based on not only you, but how much shit you have in your inventory. So every tool and every stack of bullshit that you're carrying is going to make it take much more energy. So ideally, you put down any non-essential shit before you bamf over, and then, you know, you pick it back up when you come back, rather than teleport over there with tons and tons and tons of shit 
But, um, yeah, it works. We've got teleportation, and that's fucking awesome.